modern Chelsea cylinder. We're a cylinder cylinder. Today we're here to talk about the big screen version of the movie Entourage. So when I was going to see this movie, I was really worried that I wouldn't really understand any of the characters because I'd never seen the TV show before. And I have to say that one good thing about the movie is that you don't really have to have prior exposure to the TV show to understand it and get the characters. It's, they pretty much explain things, and that's always nice. So don't let that deter you. I thought the movie as a whole was like pretty entertaining. Um, what did you think? I, I liked Entourage, and I have to say that I was not a huge fan of the TV series. And, and I, I am a big fan of most of the things HBO produces. I never thought the TV series was bad, but for a series about guys running around Hollywood, a subject I like very much, I always thought that the characters were a little flat. And they're, they're not that much better in the big screen version, but the big screen version is a pretty entertaining movie in its own right. It flies by, and it's about two hours long, and... Uh, Everybody's likable. It's loaded with cameos. Yeah. It's got fabulous looking women for you guys out there. And uh, there's not all that much to say about it. It's, uh, I, I, I was very entertained. Uh, I read that the director, who is the uh, same gentleman who directed the TV series, Doug Ellen, planned this as a trilogy. And I actually hope he succeeds. I hope people like the first movie because I wouldn't mind watching two more like this. It has the same cast as the a TV series, plus, of course, Jeremy Piven as Harry the Agent, who stole the TV series and is the best thing in the movie as well. Uh, and there's lots and lots, as I said, of cameos that are fun to look at. And it's just a very glossy look at Hollywood and very dirty, too. It's a strong R. So I think you'll be entertained. If you like the TV series, I think you'll like the movie more. Yeah, I thought the movie, as I said, was just, like, really entertaining. I was never bored for a second. Um, I think one thing that I would have liked, which, you know, maybe this just isn't part of the TV show, as I said, I'm not that familiar with it, um, is that I think it would have been better if there were more, like, laugh-out-loud jokes. I didn't find myself laughing out loud that much, and since it's labeled as a comedy, I thought I would be. But, I mean, it's as I said, it's really entertaining. Um, I, 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 would, I, I, I wouldn't I, mind watching two more. Yeah, I probably... Uh... I didn't expect it to be laugh out loud funny, and it, it, it's funny enough. I did. I actually expected it to be really stupid. No, it's not. It's not it's that not, kind of. It's, it's, it's not, not that. It's not that yeah, kind of humor. Yeah, it's not that kind of humor, and it's it's not. Uh, I mean, it's not stupid an, in a good way. Yes, but it's not an unintelligent movie. No, either, no, it's which, not. Which is which is a good. thing. Yeah, it's a good thing that it has going for it, and it's a mm -hmm. nice looking movie as well. Anyway, I would give it three cylinders because I really enjoyed it. I would as well. There you have it, Entourage. This is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying see you at the movies. Bye.